Well, I'm very happy today to be here to receive the fourth prize. <laughs> And thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, the great challenge, but also the opportunity and privilege to be in front of you to go over the year and to give you a short message on the future that awaits us. What has the INSEAD been for us? Well, for me, it has been four things, and I hope you share with me the same feeling. It has been uh, amazing education, uh, an addictive lifestyle, great source of friendships, and uh, then, of course, also the multicultural world we were all waiting for. The, the educational part, it's easy to justify. If you just think of uh, how many courses we went through, the 23.5 core courses that we should have taken, and if you didn't take it, you just end up and leave now. <laughs> and, uh, well, the, the amazing professors we had, the great uh, facilities we had in three different continents. I mean, we had it all, so that's easy to justify. But what is more amazing is the lifestyle that we're running. One ratio for all, one out of six. And no, guys, I'm not talking about women to men, as we all know. <laughs> it's not that ratio that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the numbers of hours we sleep to the ones that we're awake. We're awake all the time. <laughs> we're going to go to sleep soon, okay? The amazing thing is that there's so much to do and we want to live it to the fullest that we could have never stopped. The parties, the dinners, the trips whenever we had a few days uh, free, the grand galas, we had four in Fontainebleau in Singapore, the cabarets where you showed your skills, etc., etc. It could go on forever. It has been all amazing, but uh, it, it was not going to be amazing if it wasn't for the friends that we built in the meantime. We started studying together, fighting in our little groups and uh, teams, and then we built up and we learned from each other. It has been quite amazing uh, and emotional to bond together and to, to exchange uh, such uh, important moments, to choose your job, to go and prepare for the interview with your friend. And those friends have been uh, very helpful, even in uh, Things like negotiating a salary, or even maybe uh, deciding what to wear, what type to wear for the interview. Well, they were helpful at times. <laughs> More than that, and uh, maybe uh, the only way why we could build such relationships is the fact that uh, it was such a multicultural and interesting world to live in. 60 countries are represented by a promotion, that's a lot. And uh, I think 14 or 16, no, maybe 18 national weeks represented these cultures, these different cultures throughout the year. A great tradition and initiative that we should never leave. Uh, and I think uh, what is more important is the fact that even though we would come from the most amazingly different backgrounds, education, uh, etc., and even principal beliefs, we actually always came to some kind of agreement. Now today, we stand here and we're all thinking about this summer what to do, who to visit, in which country around the world. There's people inviting us in Brazil, in Portugal, you can come to visit me in Italy. <laughs> the problem is we don't have the time, and we never had the time. Well, we will have to find the time, but the, the thing is, this time is over. These 10 months have gone by and now we have to move on. Life has to move on. In fact, we came here for three reasons. One was to learn. The second one was to actually change in some way and become a better person. The third one was to, to go out there and make things happen. And as you well stated, now we have to make things happen. We did learn, indeed we learned. And <laughs> I learned. <laughs> So, how do we make a difference in the world? Well, everyone has their own opinions, right? I'm going to tell you mine. <laughs> I think we have to be, uh, we have to really make things happen, first of all. I don't think that the boring way of the waiting for things to happen to develop it should be the way to go. You have to be the entrepreneurs that you were when you left your jobs and you came here to start your life. Go out there, start everything from scratch, take the risk, even take the risk. If you have an impact in this life, you're going to be a good impact. You have to be proud of the impact you have in the community in the short term and the long term. So when you come to the, reun the reunion in a year, in five years, in ten years, whatever it is, you'll be proud to talk about it. We want to read of you in the newspapers in the right section of the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, as already 
mentioned by everybody, but I think it's the most uh, true thing of all is the fact that you have to live with passion because passion is the only real motivator in life. You can be good in something and less good in something else, but if you have the passion, you'll just go and prove better than anyone else. Now, it has been a great year. This is uh, the concluding bit, and uh, for this we have to thank all our families, our friends, the patients, partners that stayed with us here throughout these 10 months. It has been amazing, but besides this, we have to also thank all the faculty and the staff that made this possible because they created such an institution, and you all, because without you, besides the fact that it's going be quite lonely, <laughs> but it would just not be the same. I hope, actually, this might sound a little cliche, but uh, I do feel like a brother to you all. But, uh, so, so, yeah, no, don't make me cry. <laughs> I do feel like a family you all at this point with you guys, and I feel like a brother. And I like, a, like a brother, I'm going to promise you today that besides loving you and respecting you, etc., etc., I have a brother to you. I'll be the first one from now on to tell you what you're doing right, but especially what you're doing. I hope you can make the same promise to the people next to you because this is, this is how really we will make the right decision moving forward. No matter how smart you are or, <laughs> or how mature you are, a decision made in a community such as that is certainly a better decision than made alone. And so I suggest to you always to criticize each other in order to move in the right direction. I think that's it. I want to make sure that today I have this honor to stand in front of you and represent an amazing, diverse, and talented class like yourself. But from tomorrow on, we will all have the guts to, <laughs> to come on stage and represent to the community what INSEAD is really all about. Thank you very much.